Well, the beauty business can score big returns. One company is cashing in. Blue Mercury was founded in 1999. It made a name for itself in the cosmetics industry when makeup could mainly be found at department stores. The business has 145 stores and is growing, even as the broader retail sector faces headwinds. Joining us right now is Blue Mercury founder and chief operating officer, Barry Beck. Barry, great to see you. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having so me. So you are opening a flagship store here in New York City. Yes, we are. Tell us about it. Uh, we are so excited to be opening it's our 145th store. It opens tomorrow, and it's really the culmination of my dream uh, to really uh, solidify ourselves as a leader uh, in the cosmetics industry um, and um, really transitioning from a cult brand. And we used to always be a best kept secret. You tell your friend, and now we've really catapulted to become a household name and uh, international brand. I know that Macy's acquired you back in 2015. What did that do for the business? Did that collaboration help you expand? Did the scale give you even a bigger opportunity in this business? Absolutely. Uh, a lot of people don't know this fact, but that uh, Macy's is actually the fifth largest e-commerce company in America today. And that last year, one out of every two uh, Americans shopped at a Macy's store. And so they let us continue to run the business on our own. I run the business on a daily basis and I make all the decisions. But I've had to scale every function on my own. So HR, back office, supply chain management, and account. And so they've helped us do this, uh, and we can able, we're able to bring their resources to bear, and I'm able to focus my time on creating new incredible products and servicing our customers. So congratulations on your success. In, in such a hard environment for retailers in, in general, um, I feel like what you're offering is an experience. And it, from, from my sense, it seems like people will pay for that experience because they can't get it online. You can't just order it. You walk into the store for an experience. And isn't that kind of behind your, the secret recipe to your success? It it, 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 it is, but it's also our expertise, and this is really what separates us from the pack, is that we have the most knowledgeable beauty experts in the industry. And so a woman who's looking to solve her rosacea or her acne is not going to go online to solve these problems. Our client's not coming to our store looking for discounts. Fifty percent of the customers that come into a Blue Mercury store are looking for solutions to beauty problems. Do you have dermatologists there? So. No, we're just very knowledgeable. We actually compete with the dermatologists. Our products, we believe, are better than dermatologists. Just products. They're more powerful. They're more natural. Frankly, less than 25% of the time does a customer come into Blue Mercury looking for a brand or a product within a brand. They're all coming in looking for solutions to their beauty problems. And how about men? Are men coming in? Interesting. Well, spin in. Let's just be frank here. Well, okay. great. Hey, thanks for coming yeah, in. Absolutely. Actually, this is one of the great point. This is one of the uh, big new trends I'm seeing right now. We've been studying the data. I look at it on a daily basis. One of the most recent trends we're seeing is for the first time in history, men are actually coming in and purchasing in the makeup category. Hmm. So two or three years ago, men were coming in for uh, shaving cream, shower gel, uh, and shampoo. Today, they're coming in, they're buying bronzer, concealer, huh. uh, tinted moisturizer. And I think the reason why is men are realizing that, you know, looking good um, extends beyond having a great watch and nice apparel. They realize their image is everywhere. They're on more than they ever have been before. Yeah. yeah. You started out trying to be an internet-based company, and now you're sort of going reverse trend. You're going to more and more physical stores. Yeah, that's a good question. Macy's is, has this e-commerce section. Do they see you as an e-company, as a physical store company? Where, where do you see the growth coming and the, the, sh the allocation of the revenue line? For years, I've always said, and we, by the way, we were credited with coining the phrase clicks and bricks. I started the company in 1999, and we did start as an e-commerce company. But I quickly realized that we also needed physical world stores. And I think that what you're seeing now, Amazon buying Whole Foods, um, Warby Parker, eBay, all these pure play e-commerce companies opening up physical world stores. I think what they're realizing, which is something I've known for a long time, is it's actually nearly impossible to totally actualize your brand wow. without having a physical world presence. That's amazing. Real quick, best, best beauty line. Uh, best Beauty Line, Easy M61. It's our proprietary brand, Power Glow Peel Pads. This M61? Number one selling product we'll in all of Blue Mercury. Barry Beck, 